Hi, my name's Chris Cooper from Norfolk Yacht Agency, and this is a beautiful 1957 Broom Captain uh, motor cruiser Papaba. I'm well, continuing the vein of, of beautifully restored timber classics, having sold Broom Navigator recently in very similar condition. I'm really pleased to to be able to offer this absolutely stunning sister ship to the Navigator and Broom Captain. There are some differences between Navigators and Captains. They're roughly the same length, uh, side decks are slightly higher, uh, some very minor differences inside the boat. But by and large, they're really similar. And this particular boat <laughs> is absolutely gorgeous. We knew these were about. We really don't see them very often. They're in minor numbers, but vessels are in absolutely stunning condition do exist and occasionally come to the market. We're very, very lucky to have had two, two vessels in very similar condition come up in uh, within a matter of weeks of each other, really. Lovely detailing on these. The varnish work is just, yeah, it's just stunning. detail, the stainless, and they really are things of absolute beauty. Much like Navigator, this boat's had a massive amount of work. I mean, the list is, is almost endless, and, uh, and I will go through it in some, uh, in some detail in just a moment, but uh, suffice to say, uh, there really isn't anything to be to be done aboard a paper beyond um, opening a decent bottle and soaking it all up. She's uh, recently come out of, uh, out, of the, out of the workshop. She's had some new screens fitted, and uh, hull and top sides have been repainted fairly recently. The, Superstructure varnish work was stripped back to bare wood and, uh, and revarnished. There's a, there's a massive amount of, of, of work that goes into this, and, and uh, suffice to say that the costs of, um, of uh, bringing you up to a current standard is uh, is quite staggering, far far in excess of uh, of her current market price. But uh, as the vendor said to me. You know, these things don't depreciate if you keep them well and uh, you know I think he's probably right absolute stunner let's get you on board so here we are in the cockpit the varnish work in here is in really lovely condition teak and holly floors they've been laid fairly recently leatherette upholstery throughout. It's very clean, um, modern sort of feel to this classic boat. I'll show you what I mean when we go below. The list of, um, of renovations and, uh, and updates is, um, is quite extensive. I mean, it's uh, um, all, all, all the, the, the structure of the boat is in, uh, in really fine order. Um, hull is, uh, is sound, there's been many thousands spent. Um, the main hog's been replaced, uh, all the top sides have, um, have been replanked um, using traditional methods of copper nails and uh, finished with epoxy, west epoxy paint systems. Uh, 
the uh, cabin sides have been uh, renovated um, using the uh, the original mahogany that was um, within the decks. So the decks were, were renovated uh, and they've all been replaced with marine ply and then um, sheathed, sheathed with fiberglass. And, uh, and that ply was then used in the cabin sides, which is a very expensive way of maintaining the authenticity, but uh, the owner has been very particular about the way that he's um, that he's kept and renovated the boat. So he's owned her some time, and uh, she has a a modern Nani um, sixty horsepower um, engine fitted diesel engine, and the uh, and that was um, that was replaced from uh, from key through to prop. Uh, she's got modern uh, hydraulic steering. Um, all of the systems under the boards have been um, been renovated and modernised, and uh, the list really goes on. Uh, she had a new electric toilet fitted. Um, she had new galleys, uh, teak and holly floors all the way through. Um, yeah, it really is quite an extensive list. So, without further ado, let's take you below. So this is the saloon and as you see we've got white leather cloth all the way through, very comfortable, chic um, seating arrangement really, seagrass floor coverings and underneath the, the floor coverings are um, uh, teak and, and holly boards laid uh, traditionally, Not blinds there which is quite a nice sort of modern touch still retaining the uh, character that's in in the boat varnish work in here is is all pretty good there's a few minor blemishes really on the interior varnish not major but just little marks of, of age. The owner's next project would have been uh, the interior varnish. Although I have to say, you have to you, you have to look very closely to see to see it. I think uh, I think a very fastidious owner or client would uh, would pick it up. But only having been in here for a, for a while, galley was refitted with. Uh, stone work surfaces. We've got a big Waco fridge here. Smith stainless steel oven and and hole. quality feel to the interior of this boat. It's been really nicely done. Classic meets modern. And one of the really nice features I think of all of the, the broom classic boats is the half cockpit. And well, a lovely little seating position. Again, that leather cloth seating. See the teak and holly boards. Short power socket there as well. Again, the varnish work is in excellent condition. Really good order. take you forwards. So, shower compartment here on the port side of the boat. And those that may have seen my video of, uh, of Navigator will notice that the toilet and shower compartments are reversed. 
board this captain. Domestic flush toilet there. And again, stone tops. Nice deep sink here. And there's quite a nice big towel rail there. Shower compartment, there's another sink in the shower compartment here, and I guess if you've got guests on board, it's reasonably handy to have two sinks. But that's a great size shower compartment. I mean, I'm quite a big guy, I get in there. Uh, plenty of room. Best part of 900 width, I guess. And then the other big detail change, really, is that there's an offset double berth in the forward, the forward end of uh, of this captain. Again, the varnish work in here is lovely. It really is in beautiful condition. It just is an absolutely stunning boat. So as the blinds theme repeats in the forward end here. Again, teak and holly boards underneath the seagrass matting. Another nice feature actually is the um, the hatch lights. Uh, makes it a really bright, bright airy cabin. Really nice space. Just a little tour around the decks of the paver, just to show you some of the detail here with the stainless steel rubs that uh, that are on the on the cant rails and chrome features, much like Navigator, really chrome detailing on the windows, chrome deck fittings and handrails. That roof light into the forward hatch, and then we've got pop up cleats. I'll show you on the other side here. So, nice, nice feature, and then I particularly like the storage spot for the mud weight. So, no muddy weight on your decks under a hatch there. There's a mounting here for a spotlight and the power socket for it forwards. Beautifully clean white crisp lines. Across the stainless vents again and around the door. Stainless fittings, all the original fittings. The owner had stripped and re-chromed. Same inside as well, had all the hinges off and had those re-chromed and uh, found a specialist supplier of Art Deco um, light fittings. So the attention to detail here is really quite stunning. Nice white crisp canopy and the canopy top here and again real nice crisp look to the boat much like navigator she has a um, an all over cover I'll uh, pop that on and uh, give you a quick video of that as well So again, we've got a beautiful panel here. The Nani instrumentation's been really nicely sort of integrated into the, the theme of the existing panel. So we've got a full range of instrumentation and modern control. Yeah, the feel of the uh, of the vintage nature of the boat is um, is 
retained all the way through actually this uh it's been really nicely updated um whilst retaining its kind of modern feel so let's get the boards up and uh, and show you what's in the engine room so here we are here's what's under the boards these uh engine hatches lift up really nicely on on gas struts takes all the weight out of them and they clip in on these little spring catches really nicely fitted and that's our Nani N465 which is a 60 horsepower Nani engine she's done 130 hours regularly serviced and Anything that's uh, that's needed doing on this boat has been done. There's no question about that. The uh, the owner is uh, fastidious about the maintenance of the boat. And there's toilet holding tanks there. Engine weed filter at the back of the engine room. Plenty of soundproofing all the way through the engine room. Warm air heater in the corner there. Split charging system forwards, and then we've got batteries. And uh, uh, can't quite get to it from that direction. Let's just see if I can turn the camera around and show you the inverter and the battery system in the back there. So when she was re-engined, uh, she was re-engined from key to prop. So uh, the wiring loom was replaced and uh, shaft, um, cutlass, all the running gear, sort of new complement of stern gear. The boat has been fully rewired. It's been replumbed. All of the running gear and the boat systems are modern and, uh, and fairly recent. So if I just give you a brief summary of, um, of the various things that uh, that have been done to update this boat. So 2014, the uh, 12 volt and 240 volt system were fully rewired uh, and upgraded to include a battery charger and monitoring system and an inverter, which had new batteries fitted, the shore power system fitted, including a immersion heater in the chlorophyll tanks, which also had warm air heating installed. 2014 was uh, was an expensive year. The shower compartment um, was uh, converted to a full wet room with a porcelain sink, which we've already seen in the Doverstone marble shelves. Uh, 2015, 16, the cabin tops were renovated. And they've been they were refinished using a, a West epoxy paint system, and then uh, 2016, 17, the galley area was renovated um, with uh, Doverstone again marble work tops and, uh, and the smeg sink and uh, glass splashbacks. Um, 2016 17 again the teak and poly flooring um, was laid throughout throughout the boat. 2017 18 the new Nani diesel engine was fitted uh, with 220 amp hour alternators, um, new gearbox uh, and prop. Uh, 2017 18 the um, Electric toilet was fitted, the water and waste tanks were replaced. 2018-19, uh, um, the, the, the full upper sides were renovated um, with prime mahogany planking on oak beams um, using copper nails and uh, west, uh, west epoxy system again. 2018-19, uh, the decks were replaced with marine ply and finished using west, west epoxy. And 2018-19 uh, again, the hull and the superstructure was stripped to bare wood, um, upwards of 14 coats of varnish to the superstructure, multiple coats of uh, international single pack yacht uh, yacht paint on the hull. Um, 2019, the window surrounds were rechromed, and uh, in 2020 and 21, um, below the waterline, uh, she was uh, fully renovated. Um, 
put new planks uh, using prime mahogany planking on oak beams again, all copper nailed and uh, sicker flexed, um, including a new hog, um, stem, keel, ribs, the majority of the chines were also renewed. Um, so that would have been a very expensive year, 2020, 21. Um, so just to round up on that, the, um, the, the hydraulic steering was fitted with a new rudder system. Um, yeah, and as I say, the uh, the shaft and the stone were also replaced uh, at the same time. So there are other minor things here. So it was a heated tower and was fitted, and uh, and she'd been ashore for a while in 2021. Um, the engine was also serviced before she came around to us. So a massive amount of work that's been undone on board the boat. And she's been really nicely renovated, I think. Uh, you know, a modern classic. Um, in the same way that uh, that Navigator was, I, I, we knew these boats existed. Um, Pavel was one of the one of the boats that, uh, that we discussed really when we were looking at, uh, at Navigator. So um, we were very pleased to hear from the uh, from the owner um, when uh, a couple of weeks ago when he sort of muted the idea of um, potentially selling it. But, uh, She's had a massive investment, as we've said. Uh, all the bills and, uh, and invoices are, are available for, for display, but uh, it's not for the faint-hearted. There's um, the literally hundreds of thousands of pounds that have been spent on board this boat. So, so um, I direct you to uh, to the website and the vessel details for for all the the specifications and um, and information. All the dimensions are there to be seen. So, uh, if uh, if you have any queries, then please feel free to give us a call. So, we'll just leave you with a, a quick once round of the uh, cockpit and the aft deck area here. Thanks very much for watching.